Hey, I'm guessing you clicked on this video to figure out what career options there are for someone who decides to study aerospace engineering at university. If so, that's great because that's exactly what I'm going to tell you. If you're new here, my name's Saga and I've currently just finished a four years master's in aerospace engineering at the University of Sheffield. So here are the top industries that aero grads can get into, which I will further elaborate throughout this video. Civil aviation, defense, space, motorsport and automotive, software and technology, renewable energy and finance. Civil aviation is generally anything that is to do with aerospace which is non-military and non-space related. So things like this include passenger uh, airlines or passenger planes should I say, cargo planes and business jets as well as private helicopters. The biggest companies related to this industry is Airbus and Boeing. Actually in the period of Covid the graduate placements have been really rare to get hold of due to the industry being at such a critical low period. However this should pick up back after Covid and everything has slowly recovered. Typically the graduate engineering salary at these companies, so when you have joined from after studying university, is around £29,000. On to defence. Defence is the side of aerospace that focus on developing systems which are used by military that helps defend the country or perform strike operations. The kind of things you would work on as an engineer in defence would be missiles, military aircraft such as fighter jets and also future weapons technologies. The typical companies here in the UK that do this sort of things are MBDA, Raytheon and BAE Systems. There is a slight variation in the graduate engineer salaries between them all, however this sort of ranges between £28,000 to £33,000 a year. Next up, space. Being an engineer in the space sector means you basically get to work on anything related to what goes into space or is somehow linked to space. So for example, this can be launch vehicles, rovers, satellites, and even satellites on Earth that are monitoring space. Typical employers in this area in the UK are Surrey Satellites, the European Space Agency and Skyrora. The graduate salaries for Surrey Satellites and Skyrora were unfortunately not openly available. However, for the European Space Agency, if you're a graduate engineer, you're probably looking at around twenty-six to £28,000 a year. And in fact, this is not taxed if you go through their young graduate trainee role. So you get all of that money without having to pay tax. Another industry that you can go into after studying aerospace is the motorsport and automotive industry. Popular motorsport teams in the UK are all the F1 teams, most notably Mercedes AMG Petronas and Red Bull Racing. As an engineer in a motorsport team, you're likely to be responsible for designing, manufacturing and testing high performance cars that are pushing the boundaries of engineering. As a graduate engineer at Mercedes F1, you could expect to earn around 31,000 a year straight from university. So what automotive companies can one join after university? BMW, Jaguar Land Rover and Nissan are some of the biggest companies that grads go to straight from university. Similarly to motorsport, you're going to be responsible for designing, manufacturing and testing cars. However, these are for consumers, so will be not on the high performance side, but more so for safety, comfort and reliability. The salaries between motorsport and automotive barely vary because the graduate engineering salaries for BMW and JLR are between 31 to 32,000 pound a year. But before I go into some of the more unintuitive roles after studying aerospace engineering at university and if you are enjoying this video hit that subscribe button and also give this video a like but uh, yeah let's get on to the next career paths that you could choose after studying aerospace engineering. Software and tech roles are also open to aerospace engineering grads. In fact, they're open to any STEM um, graduate. Typical employers like this are your well-known Facebook and Google, as well as consultancy companies like Accenture and KPMG. Within the software and tech 
industry, there's probably two main routes I'd say, which is either you become a software engineer or you become a technology consultant. So as a software engineer, you're probably going to be the person responsible for building the solutions that a client needs and also talking with the client to figure out what they actually want the product to be like. But as a technology consultant, you probably work with businesses to try and figure out how they can make their structure and their company much more efficient through using technology and suggesting solutions for them to implement. Typical graduate software engineering salaries do vary, so the big bucks are generally paid at places like Facebook and Amazon, where the graduate salaries are around 50 to 60,000 pound a year. However, in places like Accenture, who also have software engineering roles, you, you will get paid much less. However, it's much more easier to get into these roles if you have not got a comp sci degree. And Accenture pays around 34,000 a year. As a technology consultant, however, the salaries also vary again, depending on the company and location. And so, for example, salary, salaries at KPMG and Accenture, the range can be around 28,000 a year to 43,000 a year. Renewable energy is another field that you can go into after studying aerospace engineering at university. So if you're working in the renewables energy sector, you're probably going to be focusing on methods to generate electricity without having to use coal or other fossil fuels and also without using nuclear materials like uranium and so on. An example of an employer in the UK is Siemens Gamesa and they're known for making wind turbines. At Siemens Gamesa, if you are a graduate engineer, the likely salary is going to be around £29,000 a year. Now, if money's the motivation, then listen up. So the final industry I am covering in this list is finance. One caveat to finance is that it's very likely that you'd have to be doing finance related internships and insight weeks whilst you're studying engineering to actually have a chance to get in these big shot finance companies. Typical companies in this arena are Goldman Sachs, Barclays, Lloyds and Optiver. The main role that aerospace engineers are probably likely to get into will be the role of analyst or trader. So as a trader at Optiver or an analyst at Goldman Sachs, you're probably looking at around 70 to 72,000 pound a year as your starting salary. Well, there we have it. Ultimately, there are many choices for you to go into after studying aerospace engineering. So if anyone says that you're limiting your choices by choosing aerospace engineering, they're kind of lying, I guess, so don't listen to them. What I do recommend you do is just doing your own research to figuring out what some of these companies do require before you think about how to tailor your degree and what you do during your time at university. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button and it will be awesome to see you in a future video. Thanks a lot guys for watching, see you around.